Hello Toy Collector fans, Universal Toy Collector here and welcome to the channel. Join me today as I get these two parcels opened. Okay then, so these parcels have been sat around for a good couple of months now, so it's about time I got these opened. So uh, let's crack on and see what we've got. Now the label is saying it's from Yodel, so the only uh, company that I know that delivers with Yodel or uh, sends their stuff out with Yodel is um, Hasbro Pulse. So I haven't got a clue what these are. Well, I'll probably will do when I open the box, obviously, but... Um, yeah, I, I cannot remember at this moment in time what these are. And, ooh! Right, let's get rid of that. And, uh, let's see here. Right, so, let's get these out. So we have Woof. We have Nikto. We have another Nikto. Awesome stuff. We have Kithaba. We have another Woof. And we have another Kithaba. Right, let's just get this stuff out of the way and uh, let's have a proper look. Okie dokie then. So I'm a little bit late to the party with these figures, but that is okay. Um, I know they've been released a while now. And they are part of the Return of the Jedi 40th Anniversary Wave um, from TVC. Now, I didn't get these figures in uh, TVC 1.0. So I am mighty, mighty happy that I have them now. I think these look absolutely awesome. Really do. I'm loving the detailing. Woof, what a figure. He's VC24. Uh, really glad I've got him. So with these sets of figures now, I've got um, two here. I do actually have another set of these figures so I've actually got three um, um, each of these figures one will uh, stay on card back one will go on the barge and the skiffs and the other will go in my TVC original trilogy setup that I have on display at the moment so yeah I'm gonna look at the card backs see which one's the best card back and keep that one on the card but I'm over the moon with these I really really am um, then we have Kifaba, he was VC56, so yeah, liking that. Again, not too worried about variants and stuff like that, so I'm I'm fairly content and happy with, with what I've got in front of me there with as far as Kifaba uh, is concerned. And then we have Nikto, which is VC99. Again, absolutely tremendous looking figure. Um, yeah, absolutely loving these. I do have Yak Face as because he was part of this wave as well, but I've only got one of him. I just wanted him on the card because it's the 40th anniversary. So there's me saying I'm not worried about variants and stuff like that. I've got him because he's a card variant. So yeah, I do talk some shite at times, don't I? So and I do contradict myself. So uh, but there you are. What can you do? But yeah. So um, yeah, really, really happy with these. Like I say, I'm gonna see which ones. Uh, the best on the card or the best looking card back keep that one on the card and then i shall be opening up the other two and getting them in the displays the um original trilogy figures display and the barge and skiff display so looking forward to that anyhow that's the first parcel let's crack on and get that second parcel open shall we all righty then so this is parcel number two again it's from Yodel, so I'm assuming it's from Hasbro Pulse. Let's get this open. Been sat here a while. So I hope I with with opening the first one, I've got a rough idea what this one may be. I'm not 100 percent So uh let's have a look. Ah, oh, yes, it is. Tremendous. Really happy with that. And here we go. Oh, and it is the Star Wars Retro Collection six pack. Yeah, happy with that. 
two seconds. Let me get myself sorted out and uh, let's have a little discussion about this, shall we? So firstly, I just want to start off by saying my very first video on YouTube was about the Star Wars Retro Collection. And in that video, I was bemoaning the fact that Hasbro hadn't released these six figures and was saying that they probably wouldn't release these six figures simply because of the Vac Metal C-3PO and R2-D2. Boy, how wrong was I? Because just over a year later, here they are sitting in front of me, ready to be added to the collection. And I've got to say, I'm absolutely del um, delighted by that. I really am. Um, I, I do like the line. I think it's a great line. I do have my nitpicks with it, um, which most of you are probably aware of. The big retro collection sticker on the cards. The card backs being very like flimsy. They warp easily. And also the backs of the cards are pretty boring. And my personal feelings is they should have gone with the original Kenner look with the yellow background and the figures on the on the back there. That would have that would have just that would have been absolutely amazing. Um, also, my thoughts on the retro collection um, is that personally, I feel it should be just for the original trilogy. Now, I know some people are saying that um, there's room for all Star Wars retro collection figures, and yes, yes, there is, and you're absolutely right. I'm not knocking that, and I respect the fact that other people collect differently from me, but my own personal preference is just collecting the Star Wars original trilogy retro collection figures. So, um, yeah, I've got the Return of the Jedi um, six figures on pre-order. Uh, I couldn't get that on um, Hasbro Pulse in the UK because they'd sold out, so I got in contact with a very good friend of mine, Scuba Pete, and he's managed to source me those, so once... Those are um, sent over and stuff like that. I will be paying for those and uh, sending him the money over. So, yeah. So, um, thank you very much, Scuba Pete. Anyhow, enough of me waffling on. Let's just get the bits up that I've um, opened up today. And um, we'll, uh, we'll see the video out. Two seconds. So, for the purpose of seeing this video out, I've just displayed one each of the vintage collection figures. Overall, I am absolutely delighted that these figures are in the collection. Yes, I'm very late to the party, as I stated earlier in the video, but having them open now, seeing them here, I'm just absolutely loving it. Um, really happy with the retro collection figures. Fantastic. I will be keeping those um, boxed for the time being. And like I said, with the vintage collection figures, I'm going to check the three of them, uh, see which ones are on the best card backs and which ones look the best, keeping them on the card, and then opening up the other two of the same figure and putting them in the uh, in the collection so yeah really happy with that um coming up on the channel um friday i have episode 51 of my collecting life so that'll be an interesting watch a top guy um, he's a he's a great collector and also he is a massive supporter of many of the youtube channels and i'm sure most of you will know him absolute top guy and um he doesn't go on um, YouTube that often, so I feel very, well, if at all, so I feel very privileged that he's um, taken part in the, in the series. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. So that'll be Friday. Then on Sunday, we have the Universal Toy Collector and Scuba Pete live stream. That will be from 8 p.m. UK time, um, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 2 p.m. Central Time, and 7 a.m. Pacific time and it that will also be very early in the morning in the southern hemisphere on Monday so um yeah I'm hoping I've got those times right with regards to um the the USA there but yeah so um so, yeah, so looking forward to that so we'll be doing the 500 subscriber giveaway draw um we've got some fantastic prizes to win I did say that you would have the option of getting either a or choosing a polo shirt or a t-shirt unfortunately the polo shirt is no longer an option um, because I won't be able to get the full print of the logo on on the uh, on the polo it will need to be embroidered and that's that just that won't that, that's not doable that won't work so um, we're going to go for the t-shirts the, the and um, obviously you can have to choose your size the winner that is and also you will get to choose the color but I need to get a list of colors up first that the company do and then you can choose from that list and, and what have you. So, yeah. So, we've got a fair few people um, in the Wheel of Doom draw. So, yeah, really happy about that. So, um, 
yeah, but I'm I'm just happy to to meet up with Scuba Pete and and uh, chew the fat on certain topics and stuff like that. Plus, do the 500 subscriber giveaway draw as well. So, anyhow, that is enough waffling on from me. Um, it was just a quick video to get two of the boxes open and try and create a bit more space and get rid of some cardboard. Plus, to get these fantastic figures finally in the display. So yeah, looking forward to that. That, however, will be a separate video. Anyhow. If you are new to the channel, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to let you know of more content. And as always, there will be more content. Thank you for watching. Really do genuinely appreciate your support. It means a lot, so thank you for that. Um, take care, stay safe, and we shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.